it's gonna be amazing game because it's it's just a classic. It's a it's a big big uh, situation for both nations. Even if you know the circumstances are a bit different. You know you have a very young German team that actually needs still a little bit of time to develop, and you have an English side that hasn't really started the tournament yet. They have the quality to, to outplay any team in the world if they step up to a higher pace. And they haven't picked up that pace yet in this tournament. They know that they have to improve. They know that they have every individual player of England so far hasn't shown their real, real capabilities yet. And, and that's maybe what Germany is a little bit scared about, you know, scared of. Because once they've really improved, then it's tough to beat them. If I would be kind of in the position of a Steven Gerrard or Frank Lampard, Oh, John Terry, I want to make sure that this is my World Cup. You know, I would do anything possible to grab that moment and, 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 and step up. You know, you have to, to realize this is your moment. And uh, um, that's what we're waiting for, you know, looking at it from a neutral side. <laughs> I'm not waiting for it necessarily for Sunday, but, but uh, I think every English fan wants to see them kind of play at their real potential. And uh, there are not many World Cups left for them. Miroslav Tvoza! got the goal he has been desperately searching for. I'm happy that Miroslav Klose is back because he's really the only top-class striker, world-class striker we have in our in our squad. The, the other strikers that we have are all kind of just on their way to get there, hopefully within the next few years, but they're not there yet. And, and, and Miroslav Klose, he has the experience of a couple of World, uh, world Cups. He has already 11 goals in World Cups and he can step it up because he has abilities. So, I hope that he you know, will show that in that match and then everybody's waiting for Wayne Rooney. There's no question about it. I mean, he has so much class, he is such an exceptional player that we all, I mean, now from a neutral position, we all wish that he kind of really enters the tournament on a big stage. Jürgen, last time we talked, you looked down this very camera and you assured the English people if they could get into the last 16, they could win the World Cup. Now they're facing Germany, what have you got to say? Well, if I have to say something for the English fans looking forward to the game against Germany is, you know, I want to see an English team playing at their best, tremendous football, fast-paced football, great passing, everything in there, but losing at the end of the day. Cheers.